Thanks, thanks bud. Yeah. All right. Absolute carnage here. We just got done with our leg workout. Felt beautiful. Honestly, oh felt so good. No crash either. Um, just a touch on this real quick. This was, I felt amazing throughout the whole workout. No yeah. crash and it, it felt just like any powder. It is free workout. Is it? If not, dude, I think this was better for me, honestly. Yeah. Than the I mean, powder. I, I like this better than, than the powdered seed. It went personally. down smoother. A. B, it's convenient. Yeah. And well, it tastes amazing. Well, well like what well, like what with the powdered stuff is that you you'll get off. Like, you know, you'll you'll be off a certain amount and so You're never just, gonna get it the same amount each yeah, time. Exactly. You're never gonna get the same amount and then you go and then and then you kinda like do like a little scientist kind of thing where you're like, you're oh, maybe I'll do half and then it's yeah. like actually like a three fourths. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is like they've already measured everything for you, scientifically probably measured and all that and it's just set, so. It was really good, man. Oh, man. We killed it, though. That was a really good workout. That's, it sucked, but it was good. It sucked, but it was good. It was a good suck, so. Yeah, so we did uh, squats. Um, we did walking lunges. We did. Nordic curls. Nordic curls until my hamstring <laughs> cramped up. Um, and and then, then we did uh, leg curls, leg, leg, curl, leg extension, and then a tri set of uh, calves. Yeah, tri set of calves. It was brutal. It was really good, though. We were in there for about, like, what, hour, hour and a half? Give oh, take. what time is it? We get we got in there. One, two, three. Dude, we were in there for an hour and a half. Easy. Hour and a half, easy. easy. Yeah. So I mean, like it was, it's pretty brutal, but it was it was really good. Um, yeah. So these are really hard to find around here. So probably just gonna have to order them. I'm gonna see if the if the if my next pack actually honestly has like another like get a free thing if you discount. just pay for shipping. Yeah, discount. Because I mean, deal. like that was that was a killer deal. Yeah, really good. I was, I was like, that honestly, was, I'd recommend it. I would say, I've, I've always liked these. These are always yeah. Good. I would say this is a close contender for um, monster. No, um, what was that pre workout that I really liked? Nitroflex. Yeah, this is, dude. That's close. Yeah. Those are both right there. Neck and neck. Yeah. The other ones were okay. Those are okay. Yeah. They're still pretty good, but I'd say those two are easily the dude, top two contender. I've, I've got other stuff that it, it it it'd be really interesting to see you on. Yeah. Um, like for instance, caffeine pills. Just straight up caffeine. Never done that. I, I I personally like it because of like it's a good like rise and the come down's not too crazy. Um, just straight caffeine to the dome. Yeah, so, so so like I I have caffeine pills and they probably dissolve within like 30 to 45 minutes. It's a longer time, but man, once you get into that, you're like boom. You're just like Yeah. Uh, I mean like I so, so like I take one actually at work, um, whenever I'm working out at work. Okay. Man, like I'm telling you, the 30 minutes before I go up to work out, I'm the most productive I've ever most been. Most focused, yeah. Yeah, most most focused, no, m most productive. Um, I don't stumble over my words. I talk really, really fast, but like I get yeah. everything out as much as I can. So um, that it's it does wonders for me. Yeah. It does wonders for me. And then everybody at work they're like, "We well, can tell that you're on it," and I'm yeah. like, "Yeah, well, my my productivity just skyrockets." Sure, so. but, that's good, uh, man. Yeah, so um, so you're starting prep. Yeah. Starting prep. Um, it's going really well. So then you just eating chicken and boiled chicken and I rice? I mean, you, you know what it is, man. Nothing crazy. Uh, I'm still pretty lenient as far as diet is concerned. Okay. Um, nothing crazy so far. Um, we're really just tracking macros right now. But uh, it's, it's not been as hard as... I thought initially anyway. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure of course as I can like as we get closer to June it's gonna get I mean it's only gonna get tougher as far as what I can and what I can't but right now I'm I'm pretty lenient. It's not, nothing crazy. So when you start measuring your water intake? Uh I have no idea. So who knows? Gotcha. Um yeah, I'm still what is it, February what's the day? Sixteenth? Yeah. So January, February, March, April, May, June. So like four and a half months out. Jeez. Right now. So that's crazy that you have to think about that far ahead. Yeah, it's crazy, man. But I've seen I've seen a lot of changes already in my body yeah. within the last. I mean, even two weeks. But I started just cutting down what I've consumed anyway, just from whether it was fast food or whatever I kind of wanted to eat about maybe a month and a half ago. So yeah, I've already yeah, I've already totally, leaned down. Totally, so totally. it's awesome. been really well though, man. It's yeah. been really good. Um, yeah. I bet. I bet you're also saving a lot of money too. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, as much as I don't want to, it's nice though. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, oh, dude, I could really use like a burger or something, or like I could use this or this, and you're just like, well, I can't. So right. But it's it's going really well, man. I can't. Yeah. I can't imagine after it's just gonna be like 
you're just gonna feel oh god relieved. yeah yeah that's crazy that'll be nice man. that's crazy yeah but oh. dude we just crushed this banana and i was like tight mm -hmm. coming in dude and i don't know feel better i already feel better like isn't that crazy how their body works like that like it was crazy. i was like every step or even just sitting here my hamstrings were starting to cramp up a little bit just stretching well, it and i just ate that and i already feel better you also didn't drink much water yeah well day. this is like i guess you could consider this like my first meal kind of <laughs> that's so i mean i mean yeah but i'm not a big breakfast eater dude really i'm not oh, i love me some breakfast i can't i gotta wait a couple hours before i eat when i wake up i just can't get food down and i'm huh. gonna have to obviously so, but. So, so like for me it's like in the first two two to three hours depending on if i like i work out or something like that yeah I, i'm like I'm like, I'm hungry. I have to eat something. See, like, I'm I not. Have to. I don't know why. I'm just, so, I'm so, never hungry when I wake up, ever. So what I'll do, actually, is that, like, you're supposed to take B vitamins in the morning on an empty stomach or in the morning to get you going through the day, right? Okay. Um, and so, like, a lot of energy drinks have B vitamins and all that and whatnot. Yep. So, I mean, like, I pretty much will, will take that, like, in the morning. And then, like, I mean, right after that, then I'll just, like, start eating or I will eat. And then I take my my caffeine or whatever but man like that combo i'm like i'm ready for today i'm yeah. ready to go so yeah heck yeah man i like that what's uh well, well then what's your like go to for like i guess food wise food um are you just talking about in general, yeah, well, just in let, general. let's just speak overall like just so overall dude yeah. i love i mean well let me say what's your favorite breakfast food my favorite breakfast food you can never go wrong with breakfast pizza Oh, dude. Breakfast Forget. pizza is so good. Breakfast pizza from Casey's is the best pizza, aka best breakfast food my work, ever. My, my work actually makes breakfast pizza like on Fridays. Oh, do they? Yeah, so so, so like, so like it's on like, uh, they'll put like peppers in it they'll, and like the, the sauce is gravy. They'll put sausages mm. and oh my gosh, it's so freaking good. I'm salivating currently. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Dude, yeah, Casey's, and then, Casey's breakfast pizza for sure. And then my second would be like any sort of omelet. I love me some omelets. And, I like omelets, And yeah. then breakfast burritos. Yep, I like those. Uh, I like those. Casey's breakfast pizza for sure, and then... I'm gonna go scrambled eggs over omelet for me. Really? I like scrambled eggs, dude. I love that. I love me Put some Put on some pancakes. toast. Oh, pancake tacos. Okay. So See, like, you know what? So like you, you put like scrambled eggs inside and then of roll it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, like I know I'm in the minority here. I not crazy about pancakes. What? Yeah. What I'm about not, waffles? I like waffles more than pancakes, but still, I'm not crazy about it. You're like Shelby. Yeah. I'm not crazy about it, man. I would rather have. I mean, I'll eat it. Don't get me wrong, but I would rather have waffles over pancakes, and then, but I would rather have like any other breakfast food over waffles, though. Oh man. Yeah. What about lunch? Let's go to a lunch. What are you thinking for lunch? Uh, like your go-to lunch. That, so like at work, um, like I said, they have a grill and everything like that. So like I get them to make like a six inch sub. Okay. And like. What do you throw on there? Uh, it's usually like grilled chicken, spinach, tomatoes, chipotle mayo, green peppers. And then like um, sometimes I'll put cheese on it. Sometimes I won't. Yeah. But then they'll toast it too. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, so it's like a little like. Little thing yep. like right there. You ever had a uh, pita pit? Yeah, yeah. I, like, I love pita pit. So, so actually, I actually got sick off of pita pit, so I can't, <laughs> so I can't eat it right now. Yeah. Why? Um, I got sick like a year and a half ago. Something was it like just maybe bad chicken or something like that? Either? I don't know what it was, but it was something from pita pit. Like, yeah. like I seriously ate it, and then after that, like I felt so sick, and like you, you know, you get to that like point to where you're like, I cannot have this for a certain I won't amount eat of it. period. Yep, yep, yep. It's pita pit for me right now. Well, it's have, it has been for like a year. Really? A good year, yeah. Yeah. I love Pita Pit. I, I, I would say Pita's I like... always good. I like Pita Pit more so than Chipotle or Qdoba. Really? Yep. But the thing is, dude, with Pita Pit, I have to order like two, maybe even three Do you do pitas. double chicken? I mean, I, I've never done that. I didn't even know that you could do that. Yeah, you can do double. I didn't even know that. So yeah. like I always just order two when Dang. I go in there. I mean, it's not crazy expensive but i mean it's a it's a nice bill that's a fat think. bill it's a fat bill um i like that more so than chipotle or qdoba though really? honestly i've been I, i've been really getting into firehouse sub oh dude i love firehouse um, when they say like welcome to firehouse when you walk in <laughs> yep well, well well the one over here um they they just <laughs> there's like, there's like, oh god, someone in I know. I know. Else. Yeah, and then, and then like, I just order it from the app and just pick up and like, oh, you do? Yeah, so yeah. it's so easy. 
I think my like if we're gonna go chains, it's gonna be Pita Pit. Oh, dude, and then I'm going Pita Pit Picklemans. Okay, good choice. Pita Pit Picklemans. Qdoba, Firehouse, Chipotle. Really? Even though I love Chipotle, like don't oh, get me man, wrong. Chipotle I know it's mom. number five for me, but still, it's amazing. Here's here's the thing. So for Chipotle, I actually don't do any sort of like lettuce or cheese or like sour cream. Oh really? It's like salad. a carnivore diet, just straight meat. Meat. Um, so, so like I'll you do get rice and beans. No, I'll just do rice. I won't do beans, but okay. like but like I'll do rice, meat, um, and then like mild and medium, and that's it. Okay. And then pretty that, simple. Yeah, but I mean, I'm I'm t like, I've been starting to lean off cheese just because it like it builds up. Yeah. Um, in in your system, and plus like it's fat that it's pretty much it's lard, really, yeah. right? So don't I mean, tell like, me that, dude. I love cheese, man. I know, I, I know, I know, but cheese. But at the same time, I though, mess up some cheese, dude. At the same time, though, it is kind of bad for you. Oh so. yeah, I mean anything, yeah. If you just do it in excess, for sure. So then I've been like, I've been kind of like leaning off a little bit, trying to. Yeah. Try to get the wayside a little bit. Of course, of you know course, I mean? course. So, yeah. But um, anyway, yeah. Yeah, man, dude, I'll mess up some cheese. Or right, let me ask you this: like shredded or queso? Shredded. Dude, get out of here. Shredded. I can't. I can't do any sort of queso. It just like it tastes like nacho cheese, which is yes. It's gross. <laughs> dude, you're a psycho, bro. It's gross. Nacho cheese is the best. What's happening over there? What's going on over there, Shelby? Me and what the heck are you talking about cheese? Talking about cheese. We're talking about restaurants and chains. And yeah, talking about chains, the best like fast food. Yeah. Yeah. Like fast casual? Or fast um, fast just well, we're, we're kind of going like like a pita pit, like a firehouse, like a Pickleman's. Mm. Yeah. Order, Tropical. pick up. Tropical, yeah, that's hers. That's Tropical her smoothie? Yeah. Oh, I've never ate there. I've only got smoothies. Really? I mean, is that oh, good? It's pretty good. Food's yeah, good there. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, it's it's really really expensive, but I mean like really good though. For, Cause like the thing is that their serving sizes are super small. Yeah. So. Well, have you been? Um, you've been to Casey, right? Kansas City. Yeah. Um, do you know the? Uh, oh, dude, I'm gonna. What's that place called? Is it Protein House? Have you ever ate there in KC? It's um, it's downtown Power and Light District. It's called Protein House. Huh? Dude, so good. Really? Absolutely amazing. It's amazing. I'll have to check their it out. Their food, their smoothies, everything's great. Like you said, it's a pretty penny, but it's really really good. Really? Um, it's kind of like a smoothie king almost kind of thing, but it's like actual. Kind of like that, but it's actual like it's tailored for like like thing. Yeah. It's it's really cool, dude. The environment's really sweet. Kind of like uh, e fit go a little bit, but like an actual like, like but casual it's a, dining. Yeah, it's just like that, except they like gotcha. tailor in like, gotcha. protein, okay, okay, shakes and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll probably have you check had e fit go? Yeah, I like it. It's it's expensive it, for what it is. It's expensive for what it is. It's oh, nice and quick yes. and convenient, but like, oh, dude, it's it's a it's a pretty penny. Yeah, I mean, like it's nine bucks for like. Two like taquito rolled up enchiladas, and then you have like rice, which is like that's my go-to one. It tastes yeah. so stinking good, but like it's just, it's just like come on, throw me a bone here. Yeah, it's nine bucks for this like little thing, and like I eat two of them a night. Yeah, and I'm like, here's twenty dollars for a meal. I might as well just go out. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. But yeah. well, actually, might as well go get groceries, right? <laughs> Yeah, let me go buy like a pound of beef um, and then some bread, eggs, milk, and something else. And then I'll have meals for a couple days rather than, Yeah, you know. seriously, seriously. But I mean, it's all relative, I guess, you know. Yeah. All right, let me ask you this. If you can pick one protein, it can be a meat, it can be like a tofu, it can be anything like that. One protein for life that you have for free, what would it be? Chicken. Chicken? Chicken, go-to chicken. Okay. Go-to chicken. I mean, like, that's... Yeah, so like with whey, you don't know exactly which type of whey you're gonna get. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, are, are, is it gonna be an isolate? It's gonna be. Is it gonna taste good? Yeah, you're going it's chicken. Like, okay. Yeah, going dude, chicken. I'm going beef. Cause you can kick. Cause you can cook your own. I mean. Like, yeah, I'm going beef, dude, for sure. See, here, here's the thing. Like everybody hates me for this. Everybody hates me for this. Um, <laughs> Am I about to hate you? Yeah, you are. Okay. Um, well, hold on, let me preface this statement first, though. I'll take free beef because. I like like good steak and stuff like that. I'll take that. I'll take the I'll that. take I'll take the free beef. All right. I'm not only gonna eat beef. Obviously, red meat is bad for you and a lot of yeah, excess, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. I'll still buy chicken, but the free I'm taking beef 
all the time. Okay. Every time. Okay. Well, here's the thing. All right, let's watch, let's watch our words here. I know, I know. It's, let's it's, watch it. It's fighting words. This, this might be our last episode, folks. <laughs> this could be a last episode. I don't like steak. Okay. <laughs> Cut it. Cut, <laughs> Cut the camera. No, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's because of the raw. It actually upsets my stomach. So, um, like Thanks red, for tuning in, guys. Uh, episode four is <laughs> Red, really? Yeah, yeah. Red meat like really, really upsets my stomach. So, okay. What um, about like ground beef? Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, but it has to be cooked all the way through. Like, like. So you're a medium, like well done type person. No medium wow. rare. Like burn it. Seriously, <laughs> like I mean, I mean, I'm telling you the truth. Like it just upsets my stomach if well, I do not like. I'll tell you this. Everyone like their go to like when like if we're at a restaurant or anything. My dad's make it moo. Yeah, dude, I hate that. I, I'm, I I'm medium every it. single time. I can't. I I can't do that. It's just like it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, okay, you want to cook it this much, and yeah, I'm like, I, I totally get it. Like, I'm with you on that. Like, I it makes me gag any, seeing people like any when sort it's of like barely straight, cooked. Yeah, any sort of like straight up like red meat like. I mean, that's in your system for a lot longer time than any sort of white meat. Oh, yeah. And so, I mean, like, there's, I mean, I get it. There's a high more, like, high amounts of creatine in red meat compared to um, uh, white meat. But, but you're mean, still going to get it. And you're going to get, you know what, you're going to get your creatine in. Yeah. If not, you can get it in I your mean, dietary other ways. And plus, you can supplement it. Creatine's so cheap, you can get it I in still, tubs. I still even like eat like hamburgers and things like that, but sure. like I mean like a true like steak where people are like, oh mashed potatoes. Oh, see I hate mashed potatoes. I think I said that on here once, but I hate mashed potatoes. See that's weird, but like <laughs> <laughs> but, I think it's a texture thing, bro. But, like, I think it is. But like oh I got a steak. Oh I got mashed potatoes. Oh I got all the carbs and all this other stuff. Yeah. And like I'm I'm just making this moo and all that. I'm like, yeah. you're you're yeah. literally just that's horrible for your body. Yeah. Horrible for your body. Yeah, dude. I uh, cook it for sure. I mean, I'll mess up some steak, but cook it. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Maybe not all the way to the point where it's black like yours, but it's not straight up black. Like I can I got do you. some red, yeah. but it's just like yeah. I like to see barely any red, just like you, I'm sure. But yeah. Anyway. Like well, so anyway, yeah. folks. Thanks anyway, for uh, checking in. Thanks episode, for tuning in to the post four, show. right? Episode four. Episode four was underway. So far, we've hit episode one. Did we hit arms? Where's that two? Episode one was back. Was it back? No, episode one was shoulders. Shoulders, back, and then shoulders, chest. back, chest, chest, and legs. And legs. Look at that, folks. So we we pretty much did the whole rotation. There it is. Um, we did the cycle. Yeah, we we finished the cycle. We'll be we probably back at it again. What we should hit neck next time? <laughs> Is Is iso so isolate the neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I love seriously. Some. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking in. Yeah. Um, episode thanks for four. tuning in. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next week. We'll see you next week.